channel so this is gonna be a quick review and swatch video of the covergirl colorlicious lipsticks now let me say um i've never really been a fan of covergirl at all i'm over maybelline elf mac and as far as like drugstore brands i'm more of maybelline elf when while i'm just I like CoverGirl, but I've never really been a fan of them. So, I do have four of the CoverGirl Lip Perfection lipsticks, which look like this. And I don't really reach for these. One of them was featured in my favorite fall lipsticks of 2014. And, um, that's the one I mainly wore. And I've worn Euphoria a couple times. I haven't worn Delish that much. I don't really reach for these and it's not that oh they're drying or they're not pigmented actually and some of them it's either i like the pigmentation but not the finish or i like the finish but not the pigmentation um so i don't really reach for these and i've only had four i would i was like you know i'm not gonna buy more and see how i like them i just really am not a fan of them so uh yeah, so when I saw the ad for the CoverGirl Colorlicious lipsticks, I said, you know, I'm not really going to buy them. Until I was on YouTube and I came across a video of someone reviewing them. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to see the review on them. And she loved them. And she had a shade, which is one of these. She had 340, excuse me. She had 340 and Delicious. And I was like, damn it, that color is its name. It's Delicious. Like, it's so pretty. And I bought it. I went out and I bought, um... Okay, it's my bestie texting me. I went out, I bought Delicious, and I got... Tempting Toffee... And I got Honey Bloom because I'm such a sucker for new lipsticks. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get two nudes and a color. And I can't. I went to Rite Aid, by the way. And I paid like $8. After taxes, I paid about $8.30 for these. Which I was just like, come on. I came home and I fell in love with these lipsticks. I love these lip cover girl. Yes, yes, like these lipsticks are amazing. I love them. So, these lipsticks are separated in store by uh, so these there are 36 shades and they are separated by smooth nudes, rich reds, yummy plums, and luscious pinks. So, they they're there are court categories we can just pick them out and they're also separated by the color of the casing now I didn't get any of the reds because I'm really picky about red lipsticks I will go out I'm gonna go out and grab one because there's um one more plum that I want two more pinks that I want I'm gonna get one red just so I can have at least one but um the nudes come in this like champagne color casing. The pinks come in like this pink casing. And the plums come like this darker, this deeper pink casing. And the red casing is just red. Um, just a quick comparison. So these are the lip perfections. These are the color licious. I'm so glad that they separated. They made the casing different colors. So I'm not really a fan of this dark casing. I don't really like it. Um, but yeah, it's that and the the name CoverGirl on the casings are a little bit bigger. Um, and I love, I don't know why I love it, but I love that the numbers are bigger as well. Like, I love that. And um, I one thing I can say about CoverGirl, I love that they have like the color at the bottom so you can see basically what's in the tube and these are pretty true to what's in the, they're always true to what's in the shade basically like i personally have never seen something on the bottom and it was different in the tube the, these are pretty much it what's in the tube so i love that i wish a lot more companies actually did that I don't like wet and wild does it and some other ones but i wish like a lot more companies did that 
so yeah pricing is still the same you can definitely get these cheaper at like Walmart and Target I usually go to either Walmart or Target I only went to Rite Aid because that's closest to me I have a Rite Aid a few blocks away so that's why I went to Rite Aid and bought these but if I, if I was closer to something else I was not have went to Rite Aid and pay eight dollars and change and Walgreens and Dwayne Reed the cost is even worse I can't so yeah so I have nine shades I have four nudes uh, three pinks and two plums so I'm actually gonna go ahead and swatch them for you but I absolutely love these lipsticks I say go out grab them they are flying off the shelves like flying like I went, I went to one Rite Aid two Targets and two Walmarts and that's how I got the nine that I have they are flying off the shelves you gotta grab them but as I said I recommend you go to the Walmart or Target pay the five dollars and change rather than paying seven dollars and up at Rite Aid Walgreens and Dwayne Reed so are you ready for the swatches? Because I am. I love these lipsticks. They are dark skin girl friendly. You really don't have to wear a liner with a lot of these. They're absolutely amazing. One quick thing before I get into the swatches. They are really moisturizing. The Glip Perfections, they're moisturizing, but not as much as those and the pigmentation is evenly good throughout every shade. With these, is like... This one, I like the color, but not the pigmentation. But this one, I like the pigmentation, but I don't really like the finish. So, I say grab it. Um, They're way better than the Lip Perfection. So, without further ado, let's get on to the swatches. <laughs> So this is Caramel Kiss. I actually would wear this sometimes. I will pair with the liner because it's a little, um, I feel like if I was to dab this color on instead of having it full on like this, it would look better. But since I have it full on this way, I would definitely pair with the liner. But I absolutely love it. And this is number 240 in Caramel Kiss. 245 and this is honeyed I don't know if you say a honeyed bloom or honey eyed bloom and that's 245 I love this color this is my favorite nude out of all the nudes I got from the collection this is my absolute favorite I will not wear it with a liner it's amazing by itself it's more of like a it looks a lot like a caramel kiss just says this is more pink this is Honey Eye Bloom right here. It has more pink in it than Caramel Kiss did, but I love it. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to take it off. I do not want to take this off. Like, it's, it's beautiful. Like, beautiful. And this is Honey Eye Bloom, honey. Next one is color 250 and sultry sienna and this is like the last one I bought actually um and it's more of like a taupe it's like pink undertones it's like a taupe with like pink undertones to it and this is sultry sienna right here and it's another great nude <laughs> This is actually another one that I really wouldn't wear a liner with. I would just throw all these nudes except Caramel Kiss. I would just throw it on and just go. Like, I absolutely love this. And this is Sultry Sienna. This one is color 255. And this is Tempting Toffee. And, um... This is like a brown with pink undertones to it, and that's Tempting Toffee right here. As you guys can see. And Tempting Toffee.
salty, tempting toffee gives me kind of the same effect that Hug Me by Max gives me. Gives the kind of the same kind of effect that Hug Me by Mac gives me. But they're not like quite the same. And this is tempting toffee. Now on to the pinks. My camera might cut off. Now on to the pinks. Um, I have four of those. And um, now that we're on to the pinks, I will tell you that these colors will settle into like the um, dead skin, like the dryness of your lips. These colors will settle into those areas. So we'll just be mindful of that. Um, and this is $3.95 in Darling Kiss. This is like a really muted pink. It's um, it's not bright enough so you need a liner with it. I would wear it without a liner actually. And this is Darling Kiss. The next one, the next one is 390 Sweetheart Blush, and um, <sighs> Sweetheart Blush. It's a really pale pearlescent pink. I would not wear Sweetheart Blush on its own. I wouldn't even wear it as a lipstick. Sweetheart Blush I would put on top of a lipstick. Let's say I have a matte pink and I want to give it like a shiny effect, a pearlescent effect, I will put this on top. I, me personally, I would not wear this as a lipstick and like go out. Either liner or no liner, I would not wear it. On its own at least. I wouldn't even do this in real life. This looks crazy. Oh my. <laughs> I look like I have like shiny ash on my lips. This is like, yeah, I would not ever, ever do this. I wouldn't do that, no. But nonetheless, this is Sweetheart Blush. Oh no, girl. Mm -mm. The next one is 415 Delight Blush. And this is another one that I think I would, uh, I don't know how I feel about this one though. I don't know. This one actually is like, it's like the natural pink in my lips, just like all over. Um, I wouldn't wear it with the liner. I mean, I might, but I would, this is a one that I would wear on this one, like a really light makeup kind of day, really light foundation. You know, everything really neutral. Um, and I wanted a pink lip, I'll really reach for this one. I might wear it with the liner, I might not. But this is one that I will also pair with other lipsticks. Like I will really throw this one on top of other lipsticks. Maybe like a deep purple or a deep pink. But I would still wear it on its own as well. And this is um Delight Blush. The next, the last pink I have is 340. And it's called Delicious. And out of the pinks, this one is my favorite. And that's delicious. It's like a pink with like a uh, plum undertone. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not gonna wanna take this one. Mm. Beautiful. And this is delicious. Mm. Now we're gonna get into the last shade, which is Tantalize, which is number 335. And this is the plum that I own. 
And I'm just gonna put it with the pinks. And it looks like this. And it's more of like a, it's more, it's like a plum with pink undertones, but a lot more plum. And this is Tantalize, and I absolutely love this color, like, I will wear it as it is, like, as is. I... Girl, listen. So I hope you guys enjoyed these swatches. I absolutely love these lipsticks. I say grab them. They're f grab them. Like they're they're so you the colors are so universal. They're so beautiful. 36 shades. You will definitely find at least one shade in each category that will fit you. I say go for it. And I will see you guys in the next video.